everybody. Thanks for joining me again this week. It's always great to have you out there and to know that you're there. I uh, can't wait until we try to get back together again, although it might be just a little while yet. Well, today I brought some pictures with me. I brought a picture of my husband and I, and I brought a picture of the two of us at my old church with my son and my daughter-in-law. And these are nice pictures, but you know, they're not very old. They're only probably three years old and we haven't changed all that much in that short a time. But it's nice to have pictures around. And in fact, this picture is a very old picture. It's a picture of my mom and dad and my son when he was a little boy. And what's really neat about that, my, my parents have since passed away. My grandchildren were born after they died and they've never seen my parents who are really their great grandparents. And so it's nice to have a picture of grandma and grandpa so when we talk about them, they know what they look like. In fact, did you know that there are pictures here in the church? If you go in the parlor sometime, there's a whole line of pictures of the ministers of this church that go back many, many years. And it's nice to see who was the minister 20 or 30 or 40 years ago. Pictures are really fun to have. Well, what I wanted to ask you was, does anybody have a picture of God? If you went to a supermarket and somebody said God was there, would you know what God looked like? Or if you heard God's voice, would you know what his voice sounded like? Well, no, of course not. We don't have any pictures of God. And in fact, we really don't have any pictures of the Lord Jesus. Uh, the pictures that have been painted are artists' ideas of what the Lord Jesus looked like. They always have a very kind, beautiful face. He has dark skin because he was from the Mideast and dark hair. But every once in a while, I see a picture with blue eyes, and I don't think Jesus had blue eyes. But we really don't know what Jesus looked like. We know a lot about Jesus because of the Bible, but we certainly don't know what God looked like. Well, the Bible tells us in the Gospel of John, no one has ever seen God, but God, the one and only who is at the Father's side, meaning Jesus, has made him known. So through Jesus, we know what God is like. In fact, God sent Jesus here so that we could get to know all about God. Well, because of that, we know quite a bit. And if I asked you what God is like through the Lord Jesus, I'll bet you could tell me. Jesus was kind and good. He helped people. He healed people. He prayed a lot. So we know quite a bit about God through the Lord Jesus. Well, I think the most wonderful story about Jesus and about God is his story about the prodigal son. Do you remember that? The prodigal son was the naughty boy who took his inheritance and kind of ran away from home and just squandered everything and then became hungry and penniless and decided to go back home and ask forgiveness. He didn't think his father would really take him. But you know what? We know that his father did. His father was so happy to see him. He ran to him and put his arms around him and welcomed him back and told him how much he loved him. Well, that's what God is like. Jesus wanted us to know that. More than anything, God is like a parent who loves us more than anything. So, I know that God would like us to do the things that Jesus taught us. And so this we try extra hard to be kind and helpful because that's what God is like. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for showing us what you're like through your word, the Bible, and through your son, Jesus. Help us to do the things that please you and help others. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have a nice week. Take care, everybody. See you soon.